What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Sarlin. I'm rocking my Star Wars shirt for obvious reasons, and apparently I got part of my boxers in that shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, in case you didn't know, I always shoot my videos in my boxers, every single one of them. Yeah, take that from Mental Image Internet. <laughs> Sticking it to the man since the early 90s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that before. Yeah, I don't think I mentioned that in my videos. I always have a shirt on. I never have pants on. I always have my boxers on in every video. I know a few other YouTubers that do that too. It's really funny now that I think about it. Anyways, uh, on to the Ruby fans. Uh, Ruby Volume 2, I'm going to be coming out with that. I'm going to try and watch it tomorrow. I have the day off. I'm good. Everything's fine. I'm going to put my phone on silent, I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to try and get through it. It's going to take me a long while to edit and then upload, so it might not be up for a few days because of the upload more than anything else. Uh, so expect that. The reason I haven't had it up sooner was I had my wisdom teeth removed, uh, kind of unannounced. I didn't realize that was an issue until I went. I was going to get a cavity filled, and then I found out that, uh, yeah, it's time for those to come out, like ASAP. And I was down for a couple of days, and I couldn't talk very well. So I decided not to do the Ruby stuff. I had planned to do it right after uh, going to the dentist. But nope, not after that. It was it was not a fun time. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better now, though. So there's that. The Star Wars film. I uh, went to the premiere last night. Oh my gosh, the... Oh. The nostalgia in the feels. Come on. Any Star Wars fan going in there and seeing Han Solo. And I don't want to spoil anything. Like, even if you... I went into the Star Wars f movie and the only trailer that I saw was the very first one that was only a couple seconds long with the robot spinning. Like, that was it. It was like, it was like what, five, six second clip, the very, very first one. I didn't watch a single one after that. Not a single one. I went into it not knowing anything on purpose. It was one film that I wanted to be absolutely surprised by. I knew that Han Solo was in it, but I didn't know anything past that, and I didn't want to know. Stayed away from the internet involving that side of things, and I did a good job on that. I was surprised. So, I absolutely love the movie. It was, it's one of my favorites now. Uh, it definitely is one of my favorite Star Wars films now. I'm not going to say it was perfect. It did have some issues and cons. And if you guys want to talk about that, I might make a discussion for it later on. I don't want to spoil uh, anything significant to that's going to ruin it for people that haven't seen it yet that are currently watching this. So if you want me to wa actually make a video and we can talk about it, I'll do that. But I got to say, I went into that film and... Three-fourths of it was nothing but a big grin on my face. I had a blast. Fun intended. Blast. Get it? Uh, I try. We had a new theater open here at my location. I think it was called Marquis Cinemas, I believe. Well, I'm not butchering that. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. They have a different kind of concept that I've seen in, like, theaters. Something you see in your home, but not something I'd ever thought about having in a movie theater. And it's a genius idea. You, They actually have legit recliners that you can actually, like, mm, like recline all the way back and put your feet up. And it is the best movie experience to have. Like, that's something you usually only experience at home. But when you're watching it on a projector screen, a giant projector screen with you know, full surround sound, you've got like 80 speakers going full blast. That is one heck of an experience. Every single row has that. And the rows are wide enough where you have enough space where people can walk by you without you actually having to really move or anything. It's a fantastic idea. How many of you guys have theaters like that where you're at? That's the first time I've ever been to a theater where they have real recliners like that. That is awesome. And I'm extremely broad-shouldered, so when I go to a traditional movie theater, I'm usually having to, like, scrunch up because I'll be in, like, my neighbor's actual aisle for their seat. Uh, I've always had a bad habit for that. I've, I'm, like, line uh, defensive linebacker broad. I've always been that way. 
So I would always usually be really uncomfortable. Or if I brought a friend with me, I'd like lean in on their side on purpose. And then you just kind of have to deal with it because <laughs> they're my friend. And if I'm going to lean in on someone, it's going to be them <laughs> rather them than a stranger. Uh, but with these, uh, these were built for, I guess, Americans at, in their finest because uh, I had about three inches of gap space between both sides. And it's the most comfortable I've ever been in a movie theater, which was a surprise. I would say it's a concern for more petite people, though, because smaller people are going to feel like children in those things. But I got to say, it's my ideal location to watch a film now. I will be going back there every time, at least until another theater comes up with a similar idea. Really well thought out. The rest of the theater is kind of meh. Uh, probably the smallest bathrooms I've ever seen in a theater that large. There are four stalls in the bathroom. That's it. And, if, and it's a big theater, too. It's not a little theater. <laughs> I've never seen lines that big going into a bathroom since, like, maybe the last concert I'd been to with, like, 50,000 people. And there were, you know, obviously not that many people at the theater. So, yeah, it's something to think about. Still, it's the I, it was an ideal location. I want to know if you guys have theaters like that where you're at. For me, that was a new experience. I've never seen anything like it. And now I can't live without it. <laughs> Such a redneck thing to think, too. You know, go in and bring my shotgun and sit in a recliner. Oh, yeah, they should actually, they should make a gun rack above the, above the seat. <laughs> Genius. Oh, gun rack above the seat for your recliner in the movies. Just to have it with you. I'll name my gun Doolahan for uh, anime reasons. Uh, anime cookie to who knows what anime uh, Doolahan came from. It was named after something specific. It wasn't a gun, though, but it was an item. Yeah. All right. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Otherwise, I'm going to turn this into like a 30 minute vlog which i don't want to do and you probably don't want to watch or you probably already stopped by now have a good day peace